to learn about uh, what kind of things employers are looking for, um, what kind of things that I currently have in my skills and experience uh, might be applicable to future work, um, might be related to jobs that I might not exist yet, um, and I'm also hoping to just make some connections with some people who are interested in things I'm interested in. Uh, right now it's very competitive, so I was wanting to see what uh, the industry has to say about getting a leg up. I just started graduate school at University of Maryland and uh, I hope to be uh, a exploration or development geologist here in, uh, in the next five years or so. I just started my master's program. Um, I am on the fence on whether to go into industry or continue my education and get a PhD. So I'm just here trying to learn a little bit more about industry and figure out if it's what I want to do. I'm a PhD student. I'm about a year and a half away from finishing. So I have a little bit of time and so I'm just using this as an opportunity to figure out what I want to do, where I want to be, what are the options. Because when you come out of academia, it sometimes seems that everything is narrowing you down towards that academic career path. And so I'm just here to explore my options and see what's out there. Yeah, they are, they are, they are looking at different varieties of people. Like, you know, they, they are looking like uh, for who can work in the lab. And they are looking people who can go in the field and work in the field work. In these practice sessions I have learned what I need to, how I need to structure myself in terms of masters, what I need to focus on and maybe expand horizons on because that is the biggest thing that I've learned. I thought I had it set but it turns out that there is something more to it than just having your own plan. You got to expand and try to become a well-rounded individual.